Right, let's finish this thing, shall we? No recording this time. I feel like I missed loads of those throughout the playthrough. I'll have to do an even more thorough playthrough next. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how big this part of the game's going to be. They've expanded everything else out, so I'm just kind of assuming they're going to expand this out too, but who knows? Who knows? They might. They might not. Whole place is coming down now. Very creepy. Close pipe, burn down. I don't think we're in the other world, personally. That is my theory. I think we were in the other world before. When it was all normal looking. Why the Woodside Apartments went all otherworldy, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's literally there just for gameplay, to be honest. You know, the fact that it went all otherworldy and then stopped again. I think that was just for the sake of it. I don't think there's any particular law reasons why that would have happened. But no, I need to mull it over. I need to think about it. It definitely fits in more thematically that it's like this gradual descent on Silent Hill 2. Like how the original does it. It's the only real change they made that I disagree with, but we still got that really awesome <laughs> reveal at the end, right? When it went back to normal. Maybe it was worth it just for that. Maybe not, who knows? Personal preference at that point, I think. Yeah, personally, that's the only change that I th I'm a bit iffy on. Oh, the other changes have been pretty good.
we need to save it again? Probably not. Mama, I was looking for you. You're the only one left. Maybe then I can finally rest. Mama. What's wrong? Wait. You're not my mama. It's... It's... You. <sighs> Sorry, Angela. I think you were right. What we're looking for is not here. you hadn't even mama said it I deserve what happened no Angela that is not true don't pity me I'm not worth it or maybe you think you can save me Love me. Care for me. Heal all my pain. That's what I thought. James. Give me back the knife. No, I won't. Saving it for yourself. Have it your way. It doesn't change anything. See it too. For me, it's always like this.
It's the last time we'll see Angela in her horrifically tragic story. Nice touch, lying in the fetal position. I don't think they were doing that before. That's actually quite a nice touch. Because his delusion's ending? I <laughs> still don't trust it, but... That's a nice touch. See what I mean? They make loads of little subtle changes that just... <laughs> they just add up. They all add up to the same meaning. Why it's a good remake. Not all the changes are great, like I explained, but... We want two to be cleared out. No one's returning. That door again. I'd love to know what that symbolizes. It's kind of been the entry and exit into the other world, right? But <laughs> fighters don't get mercy. Um, it's kind of been like the entrance and exit into the other world, hasn't it? But what does it what does it represent? What's that symbol? Can't wait to dig more into this. There it is. Iconic. The last save point. Get enough one just in case I need it. One more thing we need to do before we can really put a stop to all of this.
I know what you are. I know why I needed you. But it's all over now. I don't need you anymore. I'm loving this new rendition of the Steam. So much. So good, so good, so good. Wait, did he visibly just get hurt? I suddenly forgot how to time things. work when they attack salt sinker. So cool that the whole place is coming down to. This is such a more well done fight, I'm sorry, but this is way better. Watching them actually get hurt as well. I did it. Oh, all this game's got to do now is stick the landing, but <laughs> who knows? And they kill themselves because they're obsolete. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Destroy what I don't need anymore. 
Scarlet Egg. Rusty Egg. I'll get more into my own philosophy of Silent Hill 2 in later playthroughs, but again, the, the surface level reading is that these just represent... I, 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 I'm talking like, say, oh, these just represent things like that. It's like this is probably like the more accurate reading of the game than like my own one, but these essentially represent execution. That's right. They're here to punish James and kind of force him to realize what he did. Disgusting. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. It'd be easier if they just killed me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off of me. Why are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James... Wait... Please... Don't go. Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not gonna die.
Mary? I have missed you so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. We can finally be together. Forever. No. James. Honey. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? <laughs> I am so sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time to let it go. No. What? I won't let you do this to me. I won't let you go. I can't! She can teleport now. Okay, James, we've got this. Uh, syringe. Oh.
How is she? They definitely improved the boss fights though, didn't they? told you they wanted the pain to end yeah you did mm -hmm. but that's not why I did it mm. the truth is I hated you I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. If that's true, then why do you look so sad? It's okay, James. Here. 
What is this? It's what you've been looking for. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. Told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. And that's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know, I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon, so that you remember me for who I was, and not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live for yourself and for others, like you did for me. James. 
You made me happy.
So, did Blueba do the impossible? Yeah. My god, they actually did it. And I got the standard leave ending, which I'm actually quite surprised about because I was purposefully not healing very much throughout that game, which is why I was staggering around everywhere for the whole game. Because I wanted to, I wanted to get the in-water ending, because I think that's the most thematically relevant ending for my own brain. That's okay. That's one of eight endings. There's two more endings. <laughs> that's, there were six endings. There were six endings in the original. That says one of eight. What does that mean? <laughs> Oh man, so my initial thoughts on this from my first blind playthrough is that it's really fucking good. This is a really good 9 out of 10 game. It feels a little padded in sections and it has some weird issues with reflections and shadows and some Unreal Engine 5 isms, but they're pretty minor points overall. I bet the PC version runs really well. All the bits they've added to the game, be it gameplay, scenario or story elements, they all fit really seamlessly into it too. Oh, I love this song. I don't think I'd change a single thing about this, really. Like, maybe one or two minor things, like going into the other world in the apartment building, I think kind of... It's not like the end of the world or anything, it just kind of makes... It, it's a little less cohesive in what it's trying to do, I think, by adding that in. That's about it, really. I don't think I'd change anything else about this. They, they've made it look so effortless as to remake this, like this monumental fucking game. And they've made it look totally effortless. Another minor point I had is I think the extensions they made to the gameplay, while excellent and thematic, I feel like all of the lengthening of the game, it has hurt the story's pacing a little bit too. I feel like maybe they should have added more story beats in as well or maybe spread the story out a little bit more but the same things happen in the same order for the most part like when you when you first meet Maria they add a little bit in right to kind of pace the story out a bit more but they stop doing that from the whole the uh the hospital onwards and I think that does hurt the pacing of the game overall but again it's pretty minor Honestly, I think the best thing about this game is all the audio work. All the tiny little sounds that you hear all over the place really made the game feel immersive and added to the spooks too. It's honestly probably some of the best audio work I've heard in a game. Whether it's better than the original is not something I'm even remotely interested in discussing. I think it's a really reductive way of looking at remakes in general to be honest, so... It doesn't replace the original. They they act as good companion pieces to each other now. I did say in the intro that Silent Hill 1 to 4 has a vibe that I don't think can be replicated. And yeah, they haven't replicated that vibe here either. The vibe still wasn't there. But I'm just not sure anymore if that really matters. I don't think that vibe is as vital to the franchise as I once thought it was. This this game has proven that to me. Because this is a great game in its own right. And it's a great remake. They did a damn good job. For the first time in a long time, I'm hopeful and looking forward to seeing what's next in the franchise. Which is just another thing in 2024 that I never thought would happen to me. <laughs> what a year this has been for me. Well, 
Shall we do it another seven times? <laughs> Sure, why not? And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.